Hiya. Yeah. Um, I I want to make this video today. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm just sat on my couch in my pajamas. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make this video now to like, like just to really get it like as is right now, if that makes sense. So I came home about two or three hours ago now from the MF show. Um, and it's Curvy's by El Gordo Inglés. And I am just, oh, I am so happy and I'm so grateful right now. And, oh, like, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be, it was, ugh, I can't even talk. I'm that excited. Um, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be as good as it was. Um, I feel like the power, the, like, mind power or the secret or whatever you want to call it, is, is working its magic. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Rebecca, and my blogger name is Rebequita Rose, which is the Spanish diminutive of Rebecca, um, and, like, Rebequita is a Spanish diminutive of Rebecca, and Rose is, like, the whole English Rose thing, because I'm, like, an English girl in Spain, blah, blah. Um, I'm hoping this video isn't going to be, like, overly long. Um, I'm just so excited. Um, and, anyway, I've been blogging for, for years now, and for ages I've been wanting to really push my blog, to nudge it, to get the quality up, blah, 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 but, I don't know, like, I'm struggling to do that, and I decided that this year I was, I was going to really, really, like, really focus, not, not so much really just focus on my blog, in, in terms of like doing more than what I already do but like upping the quality so like getting a better camera um being more regular with my posts maybe setting a you know a particular day where I'm going to do posts like every week or every however many days or you know just like make it more formal and be more serious about it and stuff and um I don't know and the other thing I really wanted to do was to like find out more about fashion itself like I'd say my blog is more like a personal style blog than a fashion blog because it's not news. It's not like I, I give groundbreaking news on my blog or anything. It's it's more like what I wear, here's a picture of it. And, you know, it's it's about how I used to sort of hate myself for being fat and, you know, all that kind of thing and learning to love yourself. And I need to stop licking my lips. And um, and now that, you know, I'm at a place where I'm pretty much happy with how, you know, with my weight and, and how I look and stuff, um, you know, just kind of put that out there and, and share that and hope that my story inspires someone else, which is what Unconditional Body Beautiful is all about and all the rest of it. But anyway, another thing that I really wanted to do was I really wanted to be more, like, active and I really wanted to participate in more fashion shows and stuff. And I'd never been to a fashion show until today. I'm just so excited. I'm so, honestly, I'm so excited. Um, and I read on um a blog um about plus sizes being included for the first time in Madrid Fashion Week or fashion like like fashion shows that usually only feature like you know regular sized you know really thin models. And now that we're going to, in it, they, I'm so excited that I can't even talk and I keep licking my lips. I need to stop licking my lips. I don't look good licking my lips. I need to stop doing that. Um, but yeah, they were going to include plus sizes. And I remember when I saw the post, I was like, oh, I really want to go to this. Like, this is a big deal. This is like the first time they're including plus sizes. Like, you know, I hope it's not too expensive to get in. Like, I really wanted to go. And stop licking your lips, Rebecca. <laughs> anyway, I googled um, I googled the show to see how you know, like, what do you have to do to get in? Is it like invitation only? Do you buy tickets? I don't know. I've never been to a fashion show. I don't know how these things work. And I didn't see any information on how to get in. And you know, I, I work and stuff. So I don't have that much time to do that much research on it. Um, and. I just kind of let it go like I wanted to go and, and I, I was looking online and stuff and I didn't find anything and then I get this random message on Facebook from one of the MF show girls asking me if I want to go to the show and it's like so random it just it came out of nowhere and I was like really me hello me me you want me to 
like, oh. Anyway, I replied back and I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to go. Like, how much do I have to pay to get in? And she was like, no, you don't have to pay anything. Send me your number and I'll call you. So I gave her my number and she called me. But, sorry, when she called, I was at work and I was in, I was in class and we're not allowed to take our phone to class at school, obviously. And um, I saw the call at the end of the day and she left me a voicemail message. And she sent me, it wasn't a very long message, but she was like, no, you don't have to pay. Of course you don't have to pay. If anything, we're going to invite you to, to this and we're going to give you money to buy clothes. It was basically what she said. And I was like, what? Like, just getting invited to the show was like a really, really, really big deal to me. Getting paid, like, I was like, really? Me? Like... No one wants me to go to like a big deal fashion show, like the very first ever plus size fashion show. Like, someone is definitely looking out for me. And, um, yes, yeah, so I went. I didn't know who the models were going to be. I didn't know. I knew, I knew that today was going to be about Shell, which is the Gordi Inglés brand, Elena Miro, who is um, a plus size designer brand. And Adolfo Dominguez, who also does plus sizes. And I absolutely love both Elena Miro and Adolfo Dominguez. But I oh, I, do, I have one Elena Miro blouse. And I have that blouse because I bought it on sale. And it was down from like 155 euros down to like 70 euros. And I mean, 70 euros for a blouse is a lot of money for me because I'm, I'm not made of money here. But it's a really good quality blouse. You know, in the long run... You know, it, it it it's cheaper. Um, and I really want some Adolfo Dominguez in in my closet, but for some reason, every time I see Adolfo Dominguez stuff in the shops, um, it's really really expensive. And I don't know, I just, I have expensive taste in general. Um, so I asked who else was gonna go to the event, and they told me that Hara was going, and Hara is is a friend of mine who. She used to do like, she used to blog like regular blogging, like outfits and stuff, plus size obviously. And then she set up her own shop and she kind of stopped blogging outfits because she didn't have time to do it. And so now she's focusing on her shop and stuff, but she's still very active in the whole, you know, plus size world and stuff. So I gave her a call and I was like, hey, I'm going to this show and I heard you're coming too. And so then we were like, yeah, let's meet up beforehand. And she was like, okay, cool. Meet me beforehand. At... Oh, sorry meet me beforehand at like half ten and you know we'll go to the show together and I was like yeah I can get to see my friend and you know I get to see some fashion and uh, we we met up <laughs> and um as I stood outside waiting for Hara um I decided to do to take a selfie I can't I can't remember if it was for Instagram or if it was to show my friend my makeup like another friend but um I stood there with my phone, you know, doing my selfie thing. Sorry. Doing my, you know, my selfie thing and, and whatnot. And this guy was driving, was like, driving, like, he was parking his car. And he was like, I can take that picture for you if you want. And I was like, uh, no thanks. And I turned my back to him. <laughs> and it was like, okay, I'll take that as a compliment, right? Because he, he I, th I think he was kind of hitting on me, but whatever. Anyway, so then Hara arrives and we 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 go to the to the door because you know we were there as like official VIP bloggers. And oh, I'm just so excited. Like just retelling this, I'm just I'm so excited. Um we were both there as VIP bloggers and so we we didn't like line up. So we went straight to the door and the security guard woman, whatever security woman, um was like, you have to line up. So Bla uh, Hara says to the woman, we're bloggers, like, we're, we're guests here. And she was like, no, press and invitation people have to go to the line, have to line up, have to go to the, you know, you guys have to go to the back of the line. And she's quite rude and dismissive about it. And so we're in the line and Hara's like, do you have Lucia's number? Lucia's the name of the girl who invited us. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, call her, because I don't think we're supposed to be lining up. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like, I don't know. So 
I call her from my phone and I'm like, hi. And she's like, where are you? And I'm like, we're in, we're in the line. And she's like, no, you guys don't need to line up. Just just come, to, go straight to the door. So we went to the door. She came out and she met us. She basically told the security guard woman person, well, it was a woman, but, and that, you know, we were guest bloggers and that guest bloggers had to be let in. There was no reason for anyone to be lining up. And we got in and we met three girls from another blog called We Love A Size. And just, oh, it was just magic. And I walked in there and the place was full of like the most beautiful men. Like that much concentration of, oh, they were gorgeous, like tall, well-dressed, handsome. Just, oh, you don't see men like that walking around every day. Who keeps messaging me? Anyway, um, yeah, you don't see gorgeous men like that, at least not in those quantities, like, every day. So I was like, wow, like, this is just, like, beautiful people. Just, oh, everyone was just beautiful in this place, right? And so we walk in, and, you know, we had to go through security and everything else, and um, Lucia gave us, like, a tour of the place, and it was just really nice to be there. And then Hara says to me, this is hilarious. Hara says to me, um, oh, Tara Lynn's coming. And I'm like, who's that? Because it didn't click. She said it like, the way Hara said it was like, this is someone that we know. This is someone that like we're friends with. And I was like, Tara Lynn. And she was like, yeah, Tara Lynn. I'm like, who is that? She's like, the model. And I'm like, Oh, that Tara Lynn, like, <laughs> like, oh, okay. Um, and yeah, so we sat down and we were given like these little token things to get like free beer and like a free drink, whatever, but I don't really drink alcohol. So I, I didn't get the beer. I gave Hara my thing, my little token thing. And, um, we got to go backstage, which was really nice. But the thing, I could slap myself right now because I'm actually really shy. Like, you'd never think I was shy to see me now talking on camera or whatever, but I'm really shy. Um, And, like, I don't really, like... I'm not one to just, like, really talk to people. And Thailand doesn't speak any... any Spanish. So we're, like, backstage, and obviously to look at me in Spain, you wouldn't think I was English, right? So, um... So Hara was like, oh, take a picture of me with Tara. And I was like, okay, cool. So I took two pictures, but I think there's something wrong with Hara's camera because for some reason the camera didn't keep the images, like it, the, the images were lost. Um, And then Hara was like, you didn't take the pictures. You've got to fix this. You've got to fix this. And I was like, yeah, don't worry. You know, we'll, we'll, we know, we have unlimited access to get everyone. We'll, we'll go backstage. You'll see her again. You can do that. And Hara was talking to this guy who was part of the Elena Miro team. And I decided to go back to where our bags were because, I don't know, I don't like having my bag like 20 feet away from me with like crowds of people, you know, everywhere. So I decided to go and get our bags. And I saw Tara Lynn sitting down with some other, model, some other models and just, you know, some other models. So I can't talk. And just like chatting away and stuff. And I approached her and I was like, excuse me and she didn't actually see me and I was like to one of the other models and she tapped her and she was like pointing at me like she wants to talk to you and I said to her I said I said um my friend and me we, we got our picture taken with you earlier and she looked at, and she was like sitting down and I was like behind her and she looked at, she was like yes I know I remember like she's, I don't know, she's just like, like, and I was like, um, I don't know, I was like, yeah, anyway, my, my friend's picture, it didn't get saved on her camera, and, um, and she was like, oh, you, you, you want to retake the picture, and I was like, yeah, but like, she's not here right now, so just like warning you that, you know, if we see you again, and whatever, it's just, that's why we want to retake our picture, and she was like, okay, that's fine, and then she looks at me, she's like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, London. And she goes, oh, cool. And I was like, okay, bye. And I ran, like, away from her. I'm really shy. And like, she's been really nice and friendly, like, just, like, really jokey. And I was like, yeah, bye. Like, oh, I could have interviewed her. Like, like I could have been like, yeah, I'm from London, but 
I live in Madrid now and I have this blog and you know I've been invited by the Corte Inglés like as one of their official bloggers and it's so nice to meet you do you know what I would really love to do I would love to like have a chat with you and interview you you know for my blog like you know could we like you know do you mind telling me like what you think about the show or what it's like to model at this show or whatever or how is a fashion show in Madrid different to a fashion show in some other country do you know I, I could have said something but no I ran away like well I don't know I could slap myself sometimes but um yeah it was nice to meet Tara Lynn and I did get my picture taken with her and I don't like how I look in my picture at all but do you know what this isn't this isn't about me or you know having me having to look beautiful and flawless and perfect in every picture not that I look beautiful perfect and flawless but you know what I'm you know what I mean like I you know every picture of me doesn't have to be like to my liking shall we say um but yeah I don't know, it was just a really amazing experience and like they're gonna pay us like not pay us in terms of give us money to go to the event and and influence our opinions nobody has said that like, you have to say this or you have to say that and you know we can say what we want if if I want to do a blog post and say that everything that we saw was just like not good or whatever I can do that like no one can stop me from doing that um but yeah what the, there's like a second part to it so like the first part is like going to the to the fashion show obviously and the second part is um us bloggers we're going to meet up for breakfast at the Corte Inglés and then we're going to be given like 300 euros on a card and that's just for us to like um to basically buy clothes it's not going to get us very far I have to say 300 euros for that sort of brand isn't going to get us very far but I'm more than happy to like <laughs> be more decisive shall we say and maybe just pick up one really good quality expensive item at the at the the I think it's I think it's Cashel that it's pr pronounced, which is the Corte Inglés plus size um brand or whatever. Um, they had loads of sequin stuff, and there's two sequin things that I really, 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 really want. But I think that collection doesn't come out till like spring or summer, roughly. So I'm gonna have to wait before I can get my hand on those. I made videos of um, like the what do you call it, the finale, shall we say? And they last about a minute each. And if I don't include that in this video, I'll include a, a second one with um, with that in it. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. And everyone was really nice. And I was expecting, you know, the atmosphere to be like really fake and pretentious. And, you know, people being like, oh, you're so beautiful, darling. Like, but like really fake. And it wasn't like that at all. People were really, really nice. The only thing is, like I say, I'm really shy. So I didn't really talk to anyone and I just kind of stood there sort of listening to people and smiling and nodding and being like, you know, mm hmm, mm hmm, like, oh no. And then after like, after the second show, because the first was Cusherelle, then it was, mm, yeah, Cusherelle, and then it was Adolfo Dominguez, and then it was Elena Miro, Elena Miro, and um, after the Adolfo Dominguez one, and Hara's like quite outgoing and really confident and she, she talks to people a lot. Like she has no issues just kind of going up to somebody and making conversation. I'm not like that at all. Like I just approaching people, I really struggle with that. Although I'm sure I, I can get better, you know. Um, and so I was just kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, like that with people. And at one point we were talking to this group of, of, of women who were also there to watch the show. I think some of them were supposed to be really famous. I don't know like who famous people are in Madrid. Um, when it comes to like, pop culture in Madrid, I'm like completely just like not with it. And I'm not really like um like a famous person people. Like I, I don't follow the lives of the rich and famous. Like I know who I like and why, but I, I you know, I, I'm just not into the whole gossip magazine thing or whatever. But um and at one point, this woman, she, you know, she was like going out of her way to make conversation with me and stuff, and it, you know, and it was just like she wasn't being fake at all. So that was, you know, so that was quite comforting to see because I really was expecting it to be like really fake and pretentious and stuff. And I was like, but you know, who cares if people are fake and pretentious? I'm there for the fashion, and I'm there to see, you know, like you know, the first plus size show, you know, to be included in like mainstream fashion. 
Um, so that was really exciting. What else happened? I got to meet Tara Lynn, which was really, really, really great. Um, like I said, what else? We got to meet some really amazing designers. I actually got to meet Adolfo Dominguez. I didn't talk to him, obviously. Um, so yeah, so that was nice. Um, what else happened? Oh, the Elena, Elena Miro actually got us, like, the official bloggers some presents, but they couldn't put them out because people were, like, taking presents. Like, but I, I totally get that. Cause, like, you go to some big event and someone just leaves something on, on, your, on a seat and they're like, oh, what's this? Um, so they've got to mail that to us. So once once I get that in the mail, I'll I'll share that with you guys. Um, what else? Ooh, oh, just so many things. Like, I'm sure when I finish recording this, I'm gonna like kick myself because something is gonna come to mind. But oh, the whole thing was just amazing. I felt kind of stupid with my little Sony CyberShot camera at one point. Because everyone had like really nice big Canon cameras and I'm still saving up like to get myself like a really decent Canon. But um But yeah, I mean I did get some pictures taken and at the end of the day, the official pictures that were taken by the photographers of the event um are the pictures that not that we're supposed to use on our post, but we're allowed to use it, like the special password and stuff, so we can access those images and use them on our blog. So even though I don't have like an amazing camera to take pictures with, I still have permission to use their photos, which are going to be amazing quality, which are amazing quality rather. Um, and so that's fine. Like I, I'm going to have a good quality post in terms of that. Um, what else was there? I, I also regretted wearing the dress that I wore. I wore my confirmation dress, which is a dress from October, and it's a really nice dress. And when I had it on in the morning, because I left my house, I think it was at like 10 o'clock, and then I got a taxi from my house to Palacio de Cibeles, where I met Hara, and it was like a like 15, 20 minute journey. Um, and oh, I'm just so excited, like... Oh, and I felt really confident in my dress, like I was really happy. And then I got there, and after a while, and after taking a few photos in the dress, I started to really regret the decision. I think it's because I've lost weight, and the dress is a little bit bad, a little bit bad, a little bit big on me. Um, and then the dress is now just a little bit big on me, and so it's not as flattering as it was when it was a bit more fitted on me. Um, but that's fine. And I re I regretted not ordering that this black jumpsuit that they have on sale um on ASOS on the web on the ASOS website. Um so I, I basically came home and ordered two black jumpsuits, both on sale because I can't afford to buy anything that's not on sale right now. And I almost ordered a third one which is a navy one, but that was gonna be really expensive. And you know I'm two jump two sorry, two black jumpsuits I think is more than enough. Um, so if I ever, like, go to another one of these events, that's, like, a really basic, great, casual, like, dress up, dress down thing. Um, and I almost ordered the jumpsuit, because I made an, an ASOS order, I think it was, like, a week ago or something, and they tried to deliver it today whilst I was at the, whilst I was at the fashion show, so I'm hoping that'll get delivered tomorrow morning. Um, because my wardrobe really does need up upgrading. I mean, 2015 in general, it started out really well. Um, I've got a couple of girls who are interested in buying some of my clothes that I don't want anymore. Um, I randomly get invited to a fashion show, which I had really wanted for ages. Um, what else? Oh, of course, like the biggest thing that you know, for the mean in the meantime, since I'm saving up for a decent camera. I found a really good photographer who's not expensive to do my to take my blog pictures for me. Um, I'm not going to stop working with him once I get the camera though because he is really, 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 really good. And you know, it's it's kind of nice to have someone to like take pictures with. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm going to get myself a decent camera so I don't have to keep recording on my Mac, which is fine. But the quality isn't as good as like a regular camera, and if you, 
if you really want to have good quality material out there, you can need good quality software to get the full, you know, the full effect. And I just remembered what it was that I forgot to tell you guys. One of the things that the official bloggers had to do was be interviewed. And they interviewed the other girls. And when they came to interview them, I was like keeping my head down, like, And then one of the girls realised oh, like towards the end of the show that I hadn't been interviewed and she was like, oh, we haven't interviewed you, come on. And there wasn't time to interview me. <laughs> and then she came back and they'd finished like the three shows and she came over and she said um, that they couldn't interview me because they were going to shut everything down because the show was over so there was no time to interview me. And I was kind of I was, I was relieved and guilty after that because it was like, damn, you know, I could have got interviewed and that would have been really nice. Um, but I didn't really want to be interviewed because it would have been in Spanish. And like I said, I'm really shy. I was going to be nervous. and I, I was scared that I was going to mess up. And, and I joked to the girl, I was like, I don't think my students have any, like some of my students are teenagers. I don't think my students know that I have a blog. Like, I haven't told them that I have a blog. Well, I hadn't told anybody at work that I had a blog until Thursday. Well, I think I told one person. No, I told two people that I had a blog, like, in passing. And it wasn't a big deal. And then on the Thursday, I told a few more people because I had to get Friday off in order to go to the event today. Today's Friday. Um, you know, this video is really, really long. 26 minutes is it's far too long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this short. But I'm really, really happy... Um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful. This is something that I had really wanted to do for a long time. And I once the quality goes up of like, my lips are so dry. Once the, once the photo quality goes up, once I'm making good quality videos, more makeup tutorials and stuff, you know, maybe I'll get invited to stuff then and, and I can do the whole, you know, be like a news bringer rather than just a what I wear blogger. Um, and I hadn't put the Valentine's Day post up that I, that I had the photographer do for me or anything. And here I am. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, really happy. And I hope that I get to go to more fashion shows and... Yeah, today has just been a really magical experience, and I was looking because I don't know if any of you know, but I, I've I've done I have done some modelling, and I was with a modelling agency in London for a while, but I was never actually a fashion model in London, and I don't know I just kind of gave up on it because I thought well you know yeah I'm like five seven and a half but that's still kind of too short to be a plus model blah blah and I just kind of let it go and then when I saw the girls modelling today I was like. I want to do that. I want to try that. So I'm kind of tempted to like maybe even give that a go. I don't know. Like, it's fun. Like, I like to be in front of the camera. I like to dress up. Why not give it another go? I have I have modelled. You know, I have done I have done things. So you never know. Although that, that's not quite like you know at the top of my list. That's not like a, a top priority, but. It's definitely something that I would like to um to look into again. Anyway, this video is really shaky. It's this is just me in my house recapping on the day. I came home like three hours ago. I got a cab home and as soon as I walked into my house and I closed the front door and I looked around me, I was like Did I just dream today? Did that really just happen? And I still feel like I'm going to wake up from this dream, but, you know. Anyway, this video is 29 minutes long, so I think I should stop talking now. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And I'll be doing a post on that soon, and I'll show you all the videos and and photographs and everything um, as soon as it's up. And thank you for watching this video if you've gotten this far. You deserve a medal because this is long and I ramble a lot.